Since the dawning of man, human labor has been the crux, the cornerstone of human survival. To the chopping of wood to make a fire, to the assembling of materials to build objects, to the hunting of animals to nourish our bodies, to the planting of seeds to grow the crops. However, in today's age of modern science and super advanced technologies, we arrive at a miraculous, momentous time in human history when suddenly evolution calls for the abolishment of human labor and renders it obsolete. Present day knowledge begs the question of the very essence, validity and purpose we've always affixed to the notion of human labor. It even auspiciously questions the very nature of our existence and what it truly means to contribute to the world. Human beings have social needs, an inner drive to allow our unique individuality to shine through and to contribute to the well-being of the system that supports our survival. However, if the system invariably hinders our progress and cripples our potential, it is one's duty to remove oneself from participating in such a system, even if it means the loss of identity. It is one's duty to detach oneself from a system that is designed to keep you enslaved. The monetary system, a game that we've invented for ourselves, is a system based on slavery. In a monetary system, there cannot be equality, there cannot be democracy, there cannot be freedom, there can only be differential advantage. Scarcity is the built-in mechanism within this system, forcing us to conform to fear, corruption and indentured servitude. If technology now has the ability to create global abundance, and levels of efficiency beyond human capacity, why then do we still work? To what ends do we now serve by working? We do not have dominion over the biosphere. When we sign paper proclamations into existence by a stroke of a pen, we give permission for man-made laws, protected by the illegitimacy of the legal framework, to manipulate our lives and diminish the potential of human output. Man-made laws are forever subject to interpretation Whereas the laws of nature, however, cannot be refuted. The laws of nature are the fruits of this earth. The laws of nature do not benefit small pockets of human population. No government can ever be a real dictatorship unless we allow it to be. Nature is the only dictatorship. The laws of nature are only what they are. The less we engage with them, the more disconnected we become from our spiritual selves henceforth consigning the human species to the dustbin of history. Control is only conceptual and thus an illusion. Our unconscious yielding to culturally imposed indoctrinations must be shed. Our egos must be overcome. How do we define value? A medium of exchange to obtain goods or the goods themselves? Every product and every object throughout your lifetime with which you've interacted and acquired, came from the earth. We work to assign value upon ourselves, represented by a fictitious commodity made of materials sprouting from the earth itself. We work as cogs in a wheel, sending the fruits to the upper section of the pyramid, simultaneously cultivating a distorted sense of meaning and false worth, bearing no relationship to the physical world. There are two major physical and psychological health ramifications resulting from excessive, unnecessary degrees of human labour within industrial civilization: Anxiety and stress. The extent of health problems stemming from these detrimental manifestations are of monolithic proportions. We perpetually fight amongst ourselves over piss and shit when we could all wake up and choose to simply share the basic necessities of life. To collaborate is to create equality. To compete is to create a false sense of separatism. It is no longer acceptable that we force ourselves to work for monetary acquisition. The change in ethos must be directed towards working not for money, but for a sustainable future for the entire species. We are given the precious gift of life only once on this earth, for such a short speck of time. For every breath we exhale, there is one less moment experienced, one less heartbeat, one less dream. Let's finally savour, relish, embrace every moment of this beautiful experience of existence 
to make life wonderful for all. Imagine a world in which you could devote your entire life to things that truly resonate with you, without feeling impeded, numbed, repelled by an abstract, trivial illusion governing the possible and impossible. Imagine every human being on earth finally has this incredible opportunity to disengage with human labour. Instead, let's invest all energies collectively to activate all technologies known today to repave the world into a second Garden of Eden. True happiness is attained when every individual aligns with the surrounding environment to nurture our needs. Money, war, poverty, disease, class, race, politics, natural boundaries are all dead. Science is now the method for systemically creating public health, social capital, innovation, equality and resource sustainability, and art, love and spirit are the new deity. Everything starts with you. Stop working. Start living.